Yes, Mr. Bennett, one of the things that I read was that you like to communicate with your paintings and there's a message behind them. What are you trying to convey with this one in particular? Well, uh, my, my whole search is uh, one that I, I really don't understand too much about yet, but I'm going to spend the rest of my life doing it. It's a search for, <clears throat> it's a search for truth and beauty. And everything I do is about that, and it's a search for it. Find definitive answers of how important truth and beauty is to humanity and the world. So one question? Yes. Yeah. I was wondering if you could talk about the relationship of your musical creativity and your painterly creativity. Are these activities that you engage in simultaneously, or do you find that you do music at different times and then turn to painting? And then finally, I'm curious if you're able to make art, a visual art, while you're traveling and performing. Well, being on the road with Duke Ellington, it was wonderful to listen to him and what he was thinking about. And one of the things he told me to do, and I hadn't realized that I was always kind of doing it, I, I primarily was performing, but then I would always always be drawing and studying painting. But he said to me something that changed my life completely. He said, do two things, don't do one. Just like you do with the piano, with the two hands. <laughs> <laughs> he said, so I, it, it kind of shocked me. I said, how could you do two things? And then I started doing that as an exercise, and I started doing it on a daily basis. Uh, and what happened is it changed my whole life for the better because when you sing a lot, uh, when you travel and you're packing suitcases and getting to the next town and everything, you, you start getting a little burnt out. And then I would start painting and it would be a big lift, a, a nice fresh start. I'd stop singing and I'd start painting. So that, that felt good. And then after a while, when I painted a lot, I'd get burnt out painting and get back to the music. And then I just went back and forth. And what happened is that it, it, it created a, a, a state of, of a perpetual creativity. Uh, I, I have no need to ever go on a vacation or to retire because I'm, I'm in this creative zone that, that he instructed me to do. You know, just sing and paint. So, when I'm doing one or the other, my life is so full of feeling creative every day about something. But just the search alone uh, makes me so f feel so grateful to be alive, and it's made me fall in love with life and and this beautiful gift that, of the earth that we have, that we're alive in this great world. And what a gift it is, that's what it's taught me. And that came from Duke Ellington. At the record company, they called him in, and, and the producer said to him, uh, Mr. Ellington, unfortunately, we have to drop you from the label. And he said, how come? He said, well, you're not selling enough records. And as quick as he, so, so spontaneous, he said to the, the, the producer, I think you have it turned around. He said, I make the music. You're supposed to sell the records. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <new> government. <laughs>